Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cardboard Cave. Today we have one of the videos I'm most excited about. I've actually been putting this one off for a little bit because I, I just wanted to save it. Um, you know, I just got so much Star Trek stuff all at once because I'm just totally obsessed with Star Trek all over again. Um, and this is maybe the one thing I'm most excited about. Definitely one of the most excited. Um, because it, it, in concept, it's so cool. And if it works, it just seems like it's going to be really cool. This is the Star Trek Next Generation Transporter. This is a playset from Playmates. This, this bad boy came from Kmart. And was $36.99. So it was one of the more expensive... Maybe the most expensive, at least based on what Kmart was charging at the time, Playmates toys we've looked at from the 90s. 1993. This one was 1993. And uh, it, was a, it was a pretty, pretty hefty place at the time. So that, that price reflects that. So I'm going to tell you, just I continue to be impressed with, uh, with, what I've been able to get some of these Star Trek toys for. I mean, once you count for inflation, I definitely paid less than the original retail price. Um, I mean, this isn't perfect, but it is still new and sealed. And once you account for inflation, again, I paid I paid a little more than $36.99, but once you count for inflation, I got this thing for really less than what it came out for. Um, and I guess that just goes to show they made so many. Playmates made so many Star Trek toys. Because if this was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a sealed in box, uh, I don't know, turtle van, you know, with light up features, it would be probably quadruple, if not more, uh, what it originally retailed for. But that's just not the case with most of these Star Trek toys. And, you know, maybe if you're a hardcore collector, that's not a good thing because you maybe expected some of these to go up more. But for somebody like me that just thinks they're awesome, wants to take them out of the box and display them. I love that I can get these for a not absurd price. But that being said, this is, of course, the transporter room. I do not believe, no, it does not include any figures, um, but I have plenty of those, so that's no problem. Let's see here. The box says, ready your favorite Star Trek figures in the light-up transport chamber. Engage controls to begin transporter, transporting and activate transporter sounds. Figures binged out for special transporting effect. Beam the character back to complete mission. This is collector's edition number 43,542. Warning contains small parts. Uh, the product number is 6104, if you'd like to look things up that way. It is, again, $36.99 at Kmart when this was originally released sometime in the 90s. Uh, came out in 93, so probably sold sometime around then. On this side, we have as playmates tended to do. The exact same information, just laid out differently. Oh, except it does tell you here, a bonus, technical blueprint included. Beam in or beam out, figures on command. Uh, it requires three C batteries, which thank, thankfully to me, although I love that playmates is really good about, even today, including batteries. Um, some of the Star Trek toys I've gotten recently for playmates included the batteries. But since this thing is 30, yeah, 30 years old exactly, I'm glad the batteries are not included because they would probably be corroded. This side is exactly the same. Uh, let's see. I lost track of which side I'm on because they're all so similar. Yeah, so all these sides, <laughs> all these sides are the same. I actually lost track of which side I was on. So you got that, then that side, then that side, all the same. Um... So let's look at the back side. Of course, it's showing uh, the card banging me up, but the back is different. It really shows you what it looks like. And uh, some information on the transporter itself. The primary means of extravehicular personnel and cargo transport to and from the Starship Enterprise. A lot of information there. Um, side note, I'm watching, uh, I'm well into Star Trek Enterprise the 2001 Scott Bakula Star Trek. And I love how the transporter is still early. It's a still early technology in that show. 
so they don't really trust it completely. They're afraid they're going to get their particles scattered. Uh, I love the that about that show. Um, yeah, so this pretty much tells us what we already know. So here's the light up transport chamber. Transporter door is back here. You can't actually see it there, I guess. Primary energizing coils. It's pointing these out. Uh, pattern buffer. There. Uh, transporter pads inside. Operator's console, with, which activates transporter sound. So I guess this is supposed, <coughs> excuse me, supposed to represent the console that would normally be separated, you know, in the shows. It's always off to the side somewhere. But for the purposes of this toy, it's all one piece, and I'm totally fine with that. Then down here at the bottom, again, 3C batteries not included, uh, which makes me happy. It means the batteries are not corroded in here. Uh, my Star Trek, Star Trek, <laughs> my Star Trek uh, Goddard shuttlecraft, you know, I had to use a little bit of, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of alcohol, wasn't too bad, but the batteries were included in that. And even though it was a brand new set, I had to do a little bit of cleaning there. But the tricorder is one of the accessories you can get. The Romulan Warbird and the Klingon Attack Cruiser. Very jealous of these two. Um, oops, you can't see them, can you? Some people have commented on my uh, Enterprise D video, which has gotten a lot of negative feedback. Not necessarily towards me, but just... People were not as impressed. A lot of people were not as impressed as me. I was coming from the standpoint as it's a $39 toy in 2023. But I understand that compared to the 1992 model, which I don't have, it probably does have some serious cutbacks. But people in those videos were saying that these ships are pretty awesome. And I hope, and I know a lot of people watching this hope, that Playmates brings these back as well. They did the Enterprise D and the original Enterprise. I hope they bring these back as well. That would be awesome. If they brought this back, now that would be something, but I think that's hoping for a lot. I don't know how the toys are doing. I mean, Star Trek is hot again, so I'm hoping, but it says coming soon from beyond the final frontier, Star Trek Deep Space Nine action figures and accessories. So that's pretty cool. When this came out, Deep Space Nine toys were uh, starting to beam up, so to speak. So, Let's just go and open this sucker. One piece of tape was broken on this side already, so we'll just open it on that side. And uh, this video is definitely going to be filmed in two parts. I don't know how much there is to assemble or anything, but i got to go to Walmart and get some C batteries. I've realized I don't have any. Why take C batteries anymore? Not much. <laughs> Not much. So I'm going to have to go get some of those because I'm definitely going to hope this thing works. Let's see here. Oh, I do it every time. I forget the tape on the sides. My bad. These are the kinds of things that excite me. Although I have a lot of figures and I still want to have to do some more videos on those. And I love them a lot. <laughs> uh, it's the play sets that really get me. And I was that way as a kid and I'm that way now as an adult. You give me like a little world to play in. That's what I like. And the transporter room is a cool little world to play in. All right. I think I have all the things off now. There we go. All right. There we go. All right. So, it looks like, huh. Okay. There's two flaps there. And it looks like our... Main event is right in there. What's this top tray, though? Is that just part of it? I might just be part of it. Well, let's just get her done, then. Okay. Yeah, it is all just one piece, I guess. So this is all just part of the packaging. All right. So this top piece is empty. Nothing there. Part of the packaging. Um, and then... What do we have in here? Okay, we're obviously going to be taking a look at this. There are going to be some stickers, which I assume, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. We're going to take a look at that. There's still a big piece of cardboard in the bottom, but I'm betting that is just packaging, but we're definitely going to make sure. Yep, just packaging. There's absolutely nothing in there. All right. <laughs> 
My family must be home. I hear a bunch of <coughs> stomping upstairs. I hope if somebody swings the door open and yells something in a minute. It'll just be what it is because they don't realize I'm recording probably. All right. All right, get back down in there. All right, let's just put that back in there for now. Put that back in there for now. All right. We're obviously going to be taking a look at this. Very exciting, but let's look at what's in here first. Okay. Let's just cut that tape. I think that'd be smarter. I uh, I'm really not in the mood to do another huge sticker sheet after the the Goddard and the Galileo sets. Those were both a lot, but I am very happy with those now that they're done. And I really don't think this was going to have a ton of stickers. I don't. It doesn't look like it. So here we go. First, we got the blueprint, which I believe both the Goddard and the Galileo came with, if I'm not mistaken. It's just a small sheet of paper, but it's a blueprint of the transporter which is pretty cool so i'm going to a complete view there shows you some of the details and some information about the transporter some up close detail like all these sheets i think they're a cool thing if you so wanted to to put in a small frame what is that? Is that even, I guess that's the standard size sheet of paper. It's like an eight and a half by 11 photo frame or whatever. You kind of display it behind the, uh, the model. That would be pretty cool. I think otherwise it's just a cool little bonus. Something, something for kids to learn more about or something for adults to geek out about. Oh yeah. Sticker sheet is gloriously small. One large, Sticker for the panel, which I knew that was going to be uh, based on the box. And then, less fun, it looks like those are very small little brown stickers. Uh, looks like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of those. That won't be real fun, but at least there's only twelve of them, and I see where they go now. They will go basically just adding detail on the sides here. So I don't think that'll be too bad. Yeah. All right, that's it for the stickers and then the instruction sheet. All these have been, no matter how complex or how simple, <laughs> all the instruction sheets are one page, single-sided. That's how they always have, are with these sets. And it gives you all the information about how to transport, but we're gonna worry about that once I actually get. And it does actually have a light bulb, which you can replace which as old as the slot bulb is, I mean, I assume it would still work. It's not been used, it was brand new. But I'm gonna have to have batteries before I worry about any of that. So we're not gonna worry about it yet. Actually, there's, I don't even see any information about the stickers on here, which is fine because it's pretty obvious where they go. Yeah, it focuses on the actual functions. Pretty cool. All right, as usual, we'll give you a quick look at this thing raw, and then we're gonna come back with a few stickers applied and hopefully, fingers crossed, with the C batteries inserted and with it working. But for now, I just got a bunch of extra plastic crap on here. Suffocation, <coughs> excuse me, suffocation warnings, which are important. Okay, just going to cut through that plastic. Put some more over here. Yeah, I think that does smell a little smoky. Seller did not mention anything about smoky. I guess you can assume if they don't say anything, there's a chance. <laughs> I do try to put smoke free when I list stuff on eBay, but I think it's kind of fair warning to if there's a smoky smell to admit that. Yeah. It's funny though, I didn't, I didn't notice it on the box, but the plastic smells smoky. Oh, well, you don't care about that. 
<laughs> this is so cool, opening a toy that's 30 years old and not paying a fortune for it. So not feeling guilty about cutting it all open, you know. It's not like this thing is worth hundreds of dollars. It could have been. I mean, like I said, if this was like a Ninja Turtles or probably, I don't know, Transformers or something. I can't imagine something this cool and this big, this specialized, not being super expensive on the aftermarket. And maybe this will be eventually, but right now it's not absurd. Anyways, let's take it out of the plastic. I just, it's the last chance to see it. <laughs> Actually brand new. This thing is automatically bigger and chunkier than I was expecting. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And I'm also gonna tell you, I think it looks just super awesome. <laughs> so cool that we got sets like this. All right, so there's the top. And you know, there's my normal adult sized hand, but it's, it's pretty, pretty big. Transformer viewing, I assume it's plastic. It looks really milky and stuff, I guess just from age. But, cause it was definitely brand new. I mean, there's no question about that. But there you can see in there a little bit. Uh, this is where the sticker's gonna go. I guess there's gonna be cut out spaces here. Yep, there we are. Cut out spaces for these sliders. And that's just pretty cool. That feels authentic to Star Trek. These sliders to, to adjust things. Oh, that's just cool. Okay, <laughs> it's just really, it's just one. They all go together. But it's such a cool thematic way to do it. All right. Just looking around the side a little bit here. And here's the door to get in, which is taped right now. So we'll look at that. Just two screw holes in the top. I bet you if you want to replace the light bulb, that's what you do. I'm guessing maybe. And then the bottom. Insert coin. Press here. Okay. Well, I don't know. I think you get to the battery. I'm sorry, the light bulb from down here. But we'll figure all this out. There's a way to change the light bulb and a way to put the batteries in, which we will need. So let's get this tape off. Of here. tape was just to keep the door from flapping everywhere and shipping. All right, all right, all right. Here we got the door, which is where you'll put the figures in. And you might be able to see how the magic trick works a little bit already, but I'm not gonna spoil it because I just want to try it out live with you. Then we'll talk about how it works. But yeah. I guess you just set a figure in there. Oh, there is a, a single, it's gonna be hard for you to see that. There's a single stud, whatever you call it in there, for a figure to stand on. Because you know, the Star Trek figures have the one hole in the foot. So they can stand there securely. There's not much in there y'all don't think you're really supposed to see. I don't know, I think the light bulb is overhead. Pretty sure that's the light bulb up there. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's the light bulb overhead. Anyways. Um, was there an on switch or is the actual controls just on and off? I think it's just the, oh no, there it is on and off switch, okay. But we'll get the few stickers on here. And then, <laughs> as my son's screaming, it's a good time to take a pause. I don't know if you can hear that, <laughs> you probably can. It's a good time to take a pause though. And we're gonna come back and hopefully see this thing work. That door is flying open. That door is yellow inside, that's cool. Does this door, this doesn't particularly latch, does it? Huh, interesting. 
surely it latches a little better than that. Maybe not. Well, I see why they taped it. But is there any way to get to stay shut? <laughs> it is wanting to come open every time. We'll worry about that later. See you soon. All right, and we're back with the fully finished batteries inserted transporter. And the stickers were not bad at all. This is one large decal with three spots already pre-cut. You just gotta lift it off, easy to apply. And that's really the main one. The only other decals are these little, uh, these brown ones, as we already saw in the sticker sheet. 12 of those all together, I believe. Yeah, that's it. So as you can see, we have an on off switch here. All that does is turn the light on. This is where the magic happens right here. So we're gonna give you another view of everything. I don't wanna show you that magic. And to give you an idea of the size of the thing, this is a full size regular Playmates action figure. This is of course Rocker in his dress uniform, which thankfully did not last very long. I can't remember if I mentioned this, I might have already in the first half of the video, but my door is haunted. It, it, it opens itself. No matter what I do, without a little piece of tape or something there, it just opens itself. But um, anyway, there's Riker in there. I'll just put him in there. There's a little stub uh, sticking out of the ground uh, to stick them on so it'll stand up straight. Or of course, any of your standard Playmates Star Trek figures should fit because they all have that little hole in, their, in the bottom of their foot uh, on the bottom of their shoe. So any any figure really. And there is room for more um, in there, but uh, yeah. So I, I assume this is just a problem with mine. I don't know why it does that. A little piece of tape. Actually, when I display it, I'm not even gonna use tape probably. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little tiny piece of cardboard under there to like tilt it up just ever so slightly and then it stays shut. But anyways, that's just a unique uh, quirk of mine. So let's give this thing a go. So, all right, here we go. One to beam out. Is that cool or what? Again, a toy from 1993. Not some, not some high-tech device at all. It's a toy from 1993, just a clever, clever toy. Beam back in, back into the transport room. Just pull it down. And uh, the instructions actually tell you to do it believably, you know, don't just rush it because the sounds activate when you start moving this, but you're in control of basically how fast you warp your character out. So you're going to do it at a believable pace to go along with the sound. Same thing when you come back in. Oh, somehow I bypassed the sound that time. Maybe I was too fast. Let's try again. Pretty cool. Cause you can go as fast as you want to. But then you're kind of missing the sound effects. Definitely looks cooler if you take your time. And yes, this is a real figure. This is not a, not a hologram or a sticker or something. I think I already gave away how it works though when I accidentally showed in here. I kind of hate to show it, but yes, it's a two-way mirror. And some very clever placement of lights. There are multiple lights in this thing. There's some there. There's one overhead. Um, I guess there's, I think there's more than two though. I'm not sure where the other one would be, but I thought there was more than two of them. 
maybe in the front, no. Anyways, there's more than one light, and the instructions actually tell you how to change them. According to the instruction manual, at least as of 1993, they are standard light bulbs you can get from your hardware store, and it tells you the size. So I do believe they'll be able to be replaced if they ever do burn out. But yeah, as you can see, he can see his reflection there. And uh, as I said, it's just a, just a single stub on there. And I believe he could probably stand up without that. That just helps. Position. Let's try positioning not exactly where that stub is and see if it works just as well. Also try turning that light off. Let's see here. See? All right, one to beam. Yeah, it works just as well when he's not standing exactly where they have have him. It is a really cool effect. I mean, what a clever toy. This was a maybe a little pricey for a Star Trek toy compared to some of the others we've looked at. I think we had a Kmart sticker on it that said $36.99. And I think I mentioned that's almost what I paid for it. Like, I paid around 40 bucks in 2023 money, so... I think that's a pretty good deal. But back in 1993, that is a pretty pricey toy, but it's still just a toy. And I think that's just an amazingly cool feature. I really do. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't give you the bean back sound. Maybe I'm not pushing it quite all the way up. That might be it. Let's try again. That's it. You can actually feel it click. You got to push it all the way up or you're not gonna get the sound on the way back because that's what activates the sound. The light's gonna work either way because this is just like a dimmer switch. It dims the lights and brightens the lights until they go all the way off. But if you don't push it to the very top or the very bottom, you're not gonna get that sound effect. Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing wrong. Honestly, I could watch that for a long time. It's just so cool. Let's try it once with the lights off. Let's see here. Just leave you here. Uh, rocker. <laughs> Well, if I can see to get back to my chair, I've, I've screwed up doing this before. Oh, the transport room will guide me. That's cool. That gives me just enough light to see my way back. Still very dark down here in the cave. Appropriately dark in the cardboard cave. So here we go. Transporting. Yep, it's a cool effect. The lights on or the lights off. There we go. Yep, you gotta make sure it clicks for it to work just right. <laughs> He's kind of leaning over right now. But that was my bad for, uh... Come on. No. Stand up. <laughs> now he's leaning all over the place. All right. All right, there you go. That is the Playmates Star Trek Next Generation Transporter Room from 1993. Awesome toy. I'm just going to go and say it as I talk here in the dark. I think this is probably... Here, let's get a little light on. At least a little bit, for crying out loud. There we go. I believe this is probably my favorite toy that we've reviewed so far. Star Trek toy we've reviewed on this channel. We've done the Enterprise D... The original series Enterprise. Both those were re-releases, um, but they were very similar to the originals in a lot of ways. Uh, we've done both the Shuttlecraft. I believe both those videos are up now, um, which I loved. The Goddard and the Galileo. I love those. Um, we've also done some figures, which are the bread and butter of the Playmate Star Trek line. But I just got to say, I think, honestly... This is my favorite because the function is just so cool. I think this is actually my favorite of all of the Star Trek toys we've looked at. All right, Cardboard Cave out. Thanks for watching.